this was a project that that came to my attention um uh, and at first when i discovered the 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 subject i was a little wary because i i remembered the whole bernie jordan incident and i thought it might be a bit of a cheesy kind of you know easy feel good thing um but then the script arrived billy ivory had written it and it to me i thought he had a wonderful take on it so he was looking at war from a very particular angle and we discovered quite quickly that he and i shared some um similar connections to world war 2 both our fathers had served in it and both of them had had a degree of uh ptsd um and um or at least his father certainly had he was he was in the raf and he'd lost a brother and my my father had gone to Burma as a young soldier and lost both his brothers and after the war he would never really talk about it and um and he at one point said this thing of you know we fought the war so we wouldn't have to talk about it and um uh, but occasionally you could really see memories landing you know watching some often a very ordinary war movie so you could see him tearing up and i was fascinated by what were these things that opened him up he was he wasn't a repressed man but he was very kind of contained and composed and so when it happened it was quite startling and i felt that the script was really trying to capture something a uh, universal and um uh and to me it was less about even the notion of war but the the idea of a soldier <laughs> to make the distinction uh just the individuals and the individuals like small elements within a bigger universe and looking for connection so when we got to the scene in the script where he meets the germans i found that uh extremely potent and poignant and and that sense that you know there was a war that in a way it was simpler from a distance to judge whose side you were on and for what purpose you were fighting it and and all that and yet everybody who's a soldier in the middle of it has a bond whatever side you were on and i was interested in that that side of the war you know that that um that there they were they'd been on the same beach but on the other side in a way for me i see it as an interesting mixture of love and war you know and uh, and, and the very powerful forces but in a quite if you like you know contained minimal personal ordinary perspective you know so a lot of a lot of very very sort of powerful forces in you know in your little care home and you think my goodness what's rattling around in their heads and in this small space it makes it very dramatic and exciting but also powerful and painful uh all of which is hopefully good ingredients for a film i think absolutely um you know what you say about the theme of connection comes through in every element of the story really um very much in the direction and putting you right, sort of right in those scenes um, I know Richard and I had spoken about um, the intergenerational sort of form of connection. Um, Richard, what what helped you connect, do you think, with this film, having been a veteran from a very different theater, a very different experience of war? Um, I, I think I'd seen an advert for the film before I, I watched it, and I thought it, it looked good, and I thought I'd enjoy it as a sort of Sunday afternoon film, potentially. Um, but I wasn't expecting to it was just a truly fantastic film throughout oh. and um it really it caught I'm I'm not going to tell you that I was crying all, all day long but mm -hmm. I was definitely trying not to <laughs> non-stop <laughs> and then at other moments laughing I couldn't help but burst out laughing at, at certain points mm. and um I, I mean a veteran's a, a veteran and when you've seen combat you've seen combat the very very different obviously looking at D-Day and and the, the places that I deployed to, but um, I found it very sort of following along and being really engrossed in it, even right at the, the start of the film with the cyclist cutting in front of him mm. and um, and him, you could see being annoyed and upset by it. And that's something that would happen to me. I might be a bit more vocal about it. Or I think a generational thing, I might struggle to just stand calmly in the queue. Um uh, and that's why the end of the film was so perfect as as well. The, 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 the bikes at the end, um, but uh, just following his sort of journey. And I think even though he was a ninety year old man who served in the Second World War, you could connect those. You could see yourself being like that in mm -hmm. in forty years time. 
Um, and then when he met the young, the young veteran, the thing that I've really liked about that, I'm not sure how much he changed the, the veteran story, if that was all accurate, if he was in Afghanistan and had lost a leg. Mm-hmm. Um, but I liked about it. He was so happy and um, just pleased to be there. A really nice guy. And then you saw that that's, that's the picture he's showing people. You saw it from the bridge of the boats when mm. we looked down and then obviously a lot more visual later in, in France. And then the fact that they didn't go to the ceremony, they went to the the, the graveyard in, instead. Um, it just sort of shows that they didn't need, they didn't need a parade to thank them that they needed to go and have their personal remembrance. And um yeah, it was just really, really well put together. And I, I did wonder, did you cast um, Michael Caine because he's a veteran, a veteran of Korea? Was that a factor in choosing him, knowing internally he, he had that sort of, he didn't need to be taught, he, he had that inside him already and he could sort of call upon personal experience? Yes, it was definitely a big part of it because... You know, it's very, very hard getting a, a, a relatively, even a small movie like this made at nowadays, independent movies. And so you have to have some something of a star, or you usually do, unless it's big IP somewhere. But in this case, there were only a handful of actors who would have tri- got the film made, you know. And uh, but But he was always my first choice because of that particular thing. You just felt like yeah. Bernie, the Bernie... To be a soldier is quite having been a soldier. He he just and even talking to him about it, you just knew that he had this reservoir of understanding and feelings. Well, I wondered if that they people know people are known in the military having quite a dark sense of humour of, of mm. laughing and joking at the, the very wrong times, but it's a lot of the time what what gets you through those situations. Did you incorporate in that? Was there a lot of veterans involved in the the making of the film or advising on the film? And their sense of humour is what sort of ended up entering the film. I I, I felt mm. like it could have been just uh, obviously it's a high quality, but it, if it had been done by a group of veterans, the way that it was done, they, the the bits that needed to be serious and very hard hitting mm. were hundred percent there and, and nailed. Um, but there was still some some great sense of humour bits, and I, I think getting the two together. It's not easy, and it could easily getting one of them wrong would have ruined the film. But it, it was oh. done fantastically. Ah, oh, well, thank you for saying yes. I think it, I think humour was always a very important part of it. Billy, the writer, um, has got this in in kind of shed loads. <laughs> As a man, he he forges a script out of his pain <laughs> and out of his wits. And so he digs very deep and they're very often very close to one another or they're just the flip side of the same thing. And the, and I, I've always loved this about, I've made a few comedies and I always try and find the, the seriousness in the comedy because it makes the comedy funnier. And likewise, I've done a few serious films where I'm always looking for the comedy because it it darkens the drama. And and it's the, the extremity of those things that give you a rich, rich entertainment. And as you say, and I've known a, 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 enough soldiers and that sense of humor. And funnily enough, I've been working on a project about people working um, for uh, NGOs and charity in, in war situations. And and the humor that <laughs> is, well, it's filthy half the time, but it's very dark. And it is this sense of, well, it might all end very quickly, you know? So, so it's a kind of really uh, free, dangerous, um, loose sense of humor uh, but backed against something very dark and, and so so yeah it's very important to try and capture that and and that's what for, for me i find so touching about bernie's character is it's sweet like comedy but actually it's got real ballast to it there's something beneath it which you don't have to scratch too deeply to find it you know and so it becomes a really full human being lovely well thank you so much um for your time today yeah, it's been wonderful speaking with you. Um, you really do. appreciate it. And fingers crossed, best of luck with the film's release. Well, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you, Richard, and you, Miriam. Lovely to meet thank you. Thank you very well. much. Take care. Thanks. Bye.